Hello, my name is Rhett Behrens. I'm a developer evangelist with the Zero API team, and today we're going to go over how to get up and running with the Zero Node OAuth 2 TypeScript Starter repo. So, first things first, let's clone the repo. So the project is pretty simple. We have an app.ts file, a package.json, and a sample.emv. Those are the three files we're most interested in. Our app.ts file uh, is an express app consisting of a home route, a connect route, a callback route, and an organization route. We also have some environment variables for client ID, client secret, and redirect URI, and we'll touch on those later. You'll see in the package JSON that the dependencies include our zero node SDK library. Let's go ahead and install our dependencies. Cool, so let's go ahead and start the app with the run command npm run dev. So you'll see that we forgot to set our environment variables. So that takes me back to the environment variables. Let's talk about that now. In app.ts, we have three environment variables for client ID, client secret, and redirect URI. And these come from the .env file. So we're gonna to need to rename from sample.env to .env, but first we need to generate an app in the zero my app portal to obtain a client ID, client secret, and redirect URI. So once we've signed into our developer account, we're gonna to navigate to developer.zero.com slash myapps. We're gonna click on new app. So you can see I've already added the app name. I've chosen web app, PKCE is for mobile or desktop. Uh, and we're gonna be rolling out uh, support for single page applications in the near future. Um, I'm going to add my company or application URL. In this case, I'm using developer.zero.com. Uh, and we're going to add our redirect URI. In this case, localhost 5000 slash callback. Go ahead and click on create app. Cool. So we've generated a client ID. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to go ahead and generate a secret. And it's really important that you copy this immediately because if you leave this page, you'll have to generate a new secret. You won't be able to get back to this one. So we'll go ahead and copy it. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste it here. Don't forget to rename sample.env to .env. Before we try starting up the app again, let's go over what this is gonna do. Um, so we're, we're going to instantiate a new instance of the zero client um, from the zero node library uh, using the client ID, client secret, and redirect URI that we just created in developer my apps portal. Um, and it's going to handle a lot of the OAuth 2 process behind the scenes for us. Uh, so the home route is going to render this button simply to connect to zero. Um, when we go to the connect route, uh, the zero client is going to build the consent URL and redirect us to the zero consent flow. Uh, and zero will then um, redirect us as the user back to the callback route. Um, finally, we're going to go ahead and redirect to the organization route. And we're going to make a call to the zero API using the token we just got. So let's start up our app again with npm run dev. Great, so we're up on port 5000. So here's the connect to zero button. We're gonna go ahead and click on this. And that takes me to zero's user consent flow. Uh, I'm already logged into zero, so I don't have to log in with email and password here. Uh, I just need to select demo company. And then zero sends me back to my app and that triggers the redirect to the organization route which triggered the call to the organization's endpoint. And you can see here, demo company. 
So now that we have the initial project working, let's extend this a little bit. Let's add a route to create a contact. All right, I've built out my contact route. Uh, and in order to create a new contact, I needed to import the contacts type, the phone type, and the payment term type from the zero node library. So we went ahead and built out this contact object. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and send it to the create contacts endpoint. Uh, and if all goes well, we're going to res JSON the response.body. So let's go ahead and start up the app and see what happens. All right, we'll go back through the consent flow. Great, so my get organizations route still works. Let's go ahead and try to create a contact. Great, there it is. Greater Winwood Exotic Animal Park, Joe Exotic, the Tiger King at Hotmail.com. Thanks everyone. Hope you've enjoyed this demo of how to get up and running with the zero node OAuth2 TypeScript starter repo.